Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. When somebody put a watermark on their item, I'm not suggesting you ever use it, but somebody sent me a file, could not use the file, because uh, I'm not gonna encroach on somebody's file or graphic. But if you look at this, I've embedded a text, basically, onto this. And this is, this one particular is easy. You can just grab these nodes and hit delete. All we want is these straight bars. Now, if you don't, if you miss a couple of nodes, you get that. But as long as you're not clicking on a node, you can always delete them. Now, this is where, this is why I decided to make the video. This is where you'd want to change and get your two point line and go from that node to that node and make sure it clicks on the node. Because if it doesn't, it'll leak in the virtual segment delete key will delete more than you want. <clears throat> so we're gonna do just a few more. This outer one is gonna be a little harder because it's a curve when you're trying to reproduce this, but let's delete those two nodes, delete those two nodes, possibly delete that one and that one. We might have to recreate this curve to conform, but that looks pretty good. Now we need to do the same thing we did earlier with the, get a two point line and go from that node to that node, and from that node to that node, and then we can delete all the inner parts, deleting that. And then do the same thing over there and just use your smart fill tool to fill in your graphic and you're gonna get what it originally looked like. Now this was a very easy one, uh, but I had trouble kind of trying to think of a way to recreate. We'll do one more. Two point line, kind of your friend, uh, cause it'll draw straight lines from node to node. And on this particular case, I'd grab that node to that node and then that node to that node, take your virtual segment delete key and just swipe down it. Now we messed up a little bit right there because I didn't have another, another line to stop it from going, so go from node to node. Then get your virtual segment delete key and just swipe through it. And then you've got one more to do, but I'm gonna save your time on the video. Now, and I am gonna do this, this is, evidently a circle so we can go up to object and break the curve apart and we can grab that one and control d and make a duplicate of it and then mirror it sideways holding down the control button and we can put it on top of there might have to zoom in a little bit let's make sure i've got snap to object on i do so this should if you grab that corner it should snap right to it. Then you could grab this other line and just move it out of the way and delete it. So now we've reproduced this logo and you're ready to go. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.